sidearm children. In the previous session, we devised a lesson. Today, we are going to revise lesson number six, Animal Life. You have already studied this lesson. Still, we will quickly have a recap of few topics and then we will solve the questions based on the topic. I hope you find it interesting. Now children, you see so many different kind of animals around you. They differ in so many ways. For example, if we talk about the size, few animals like amoeba are made up of only single cell. It is very small that it cannot be seen with our naked or unaided eye. Right, we require a device called microscope to see amoeba and other single cell organism like it. And few animals are very big or huge like a blue whale. It is many times the size of an elephant. You heard that right. A blue whale is so big that, that its size is many times the size of an elephant. Now children, these animals live in various different kind of surroundings. For example, they live in the forest, they live in the deserts, mountains, rivers, lakes, oceans, ice covered areas, etc. So, the surrounding in which a living organism lives or survives is called its habitat. So, children, what is habitat? The surrounding in which a living organism lives or survives is called its habitat. Now you see so many animals around you. Do they all look same or do all of them have similar body coverings? The answer is no, definitely not. They are different. They all have various different kind of body covering. Let us have a look at it. Now children, you can see so many pictures. Now the first one is the picture of fishes. The fishes have thin scales on their bodies. Second one is a picture of snails. The soft bodies of snails are covered in the hard shells. Yes, the shells of the snail protect their soft bodies. Also, the tortoise have hard shells on their bodies. Then there is a bird. Do you know what is the body covering of a bird? The body of the bird is covered by feathers. The feathers help them to fly. They also help to keep their body warm. Now the polar bear. The polar bear have thick hair on their bodies which is known as fur which help them to survive the very cold climate of the polar region. And what about the reptiles? The reptile like crocodile has thick leathery scales on its body. What about the mammals? Mammals have hair on their skin which protect them and also keep them warm. Now let us have a look on the next topic. Now here on the left hand side we have a description. On the right hand side it is given about what the description is. So let us have a look at this table. They have sharp and broad front teeth and flat back teeth. What are they? 
they are herbivores because they eat plants. They have sharp and broad front teeth to cut the plants and broad flat teeth to chew them. So what kind of teeth do herbivores have? Sharp broad front teeth and flat back teeth. Next is they have long sharp and pointed front teeth and strong back teeth and they are carnivores. They have long sharp and pointed teeth in the front to tear the flesh and strong back teeth to chew the flesh as carnivores eat the flesh of other animals. They have strong claws and sharp hoof beaks. They are the birds who eat the flesh of other animals like eagle, kites, owl. They are flesh eating birds. They have strong claws to catch their prey and sharp hoof beaks to tear the flesh. Next is they have long sticky tongue to catch the prey. They are frog and lizard. They eat the insects and the long sticky tongues help them to catch the insects. Now they have hundreds of backward facing teeth and detachable jaws to swallow their prey. Few snakes. Now the snakes do not chew their food. So the backward facing teeth help them to swallow the food. And few snakes can eat or swallow the prey bigger than their mouth. So they have detachable jaws to swallow the prey bigger than their mouths. Now they travel thousands of miles to find warmth, food and to give birth to their young ones. They are migratory birds or animals. Children, migration means seasonal movement of animals from one region to another is called migration. Now animals, birds, few butterflies, they migrate. Some of them migrate in search of food and warmth and also to give birth to their babies. Let us have a look at the next topic. Now, the first picture is of Arctic Tern. The Arctic Tern travels more than 70,000 kilometers from the Arctic region in winter. It goes to Antarctic region and it comes back again in summer. The next one is a monarch butterfly. It's a kind of butterfly that fly from Canada to Mexico during winter and back during summer. It goes in the summer season, it goes back to Canada. Now the third one is a picture of a Siberian crane. Now children, Siberian cranes used to come to India in summer and back again in winter. But because of widespread use of pesticides and pollution, they have not been in India for more than 10 years. So, you know children that the use of excessive use of pesticides and the pollution is causing harm to the animals and birds. So, you should try not to pollute the environment. Now, next is eels. Some fresh river eels swim more than 60,000 km to sea to reproduce and then again swim back to fresh water rivers with their young ones. So this is all about migration. Children, let us solve the questions based on what we have revised. 
Now before I tell you the correct answers, you be ready with your answers. And you keep a count of how many answers you could guess correct so that you, it will make you understand how much you could recall from what we have revised. So let us start. The first question is give one word for and the first one is the surrounding in which a living organism lives and survives is called the answer is habitat. The surrounding in which a living organism lives and survives is called its habitat. The animal who eat only plants are called herbivores. The animals who eat only plants are called herbivores. The animals who eat the flesh of other animals are called the correct answer is carnivores. The animals who eat both plants and animals are called omnivores. Next one. Seasonal movement of animals from one region to another is called movement or migration. The correct answer is migration. Now let us have a look at the next questions. The next question is true or false. So the animals, animals have different features that help them to survive in their specific habitat. That is true. Different features in animals help them to survive in their specific habitat. For example, the polar bear have thick fur on their body which help them to survive extreme cold climate of the polar region. Mammals have feathers on their bodies. So is it true or false? That is false. Mammals have hair on their bodies whereas birds have feathers on their bodies. The mouth part of animals are adapted to the kind of food they eat. Is it true or false? That is true because just now we discussed that the animals who eat different kind of foods have different mouth parts and how their mouth parts help them to eat the food they eat. Now, Siberian cranes come to India every year. So, is it true or false? That's false. They used to come to India but since 10 years because of pollution and excessive use of pesticides, they have not been to India. Now, eels migrate to reproduce. The answer is true. They migrate to reproduce. As we have discussed, different animals migrate for different reasons in which eels migrate to reproduce. Let us have a look at the new set of questions. So choose the odd one out. Now the first one is fur, shell, mammals and scale. So what is the odd one out? The odd one out is mammals because fur, shell and scales are the body covering of different animals. The next one is ponds, deserts, swimming pools, mountains. The odd one out is swimming pools because rest are the, what are the rest? The ponds, deserts and mountains are the habitat of animals. Next is amoeba, insect, 
frog human what is the odd one out so the odd one out is amoeba because amoeba is the organism which is made of only single cell the next one is zebra duck human and bear what is the correct answer the odd one out is zebra because zebra is a herbivore whereas a duck human and bear are omnivores they all eat both plants and animals next is arctic tern siberian crane peacock and monarch butterfly the odd one out is peacock because rest all are migratory birds and only peacock doesn't migrate let us have a look at the next question so the next question is choose the correct option what do snakes have on their bodies hair scales feathers or fur the correct answer is b scales snake have scales on their bodies dash have hair on their bodies birds reptiles mammals or fishes the answer is c mammals mammals have hair on their bodies which protect them and keep them warm animals migrate to find warmth food reproduce or all of this the correct answer is d all of this animals migrate in search of food warmth to reproduce also now which among these have sharp strong claws and sharp hooked beaks sparrow duck eagle or cranes the correct answer is c eagle because eagle eats the flesh of other animals that's why it has strong claws and sharp hooked beaks beak which among these is a herbivore a cat a dog horse or the wolf the correct answer is c horse now which among these devices is used to see amoeba so what is the correct answer the correct answer is this one this is a microscope as you know that amoeba is made up of only single cell so we need a microscope to see amoeba another picture is of telescope which is used to see distant objects so amoeba can be seen only through the microscope we are going to end this session